welcome to the very first video in the Lord of the Dank competition. Um, now if you're not familiar with the competition or who's in it, um, you would have seen their faces on that uh, no expense spared intro. Um, so yeah, there's nine of us, there's two in Australia, there's Stas and Les, and then seven of us in New Zealand, including myself. So we've all got a bottle each of everyone else's beers, and um, we're using this score sheet here to uh, judge each of the beers and then come up with an overall winner. Um, now, big big shout out and thank you to Carl from Floor Sweepers Union. He's been the uh, instigator and creator and driving force behind this competition, and he also did this uh, did the fine looking uh, score sheet here. So yeah, we thought we'd kick the competition off with a beer from one of the Australian entries and it's from Stas, Stas Brewing and it's, his beer is called Hank the Dank Yank, clocking at 6.9%. It's an American double IPA. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pour it up and then we'll, it's got some info on the back and we'll have a look at that. Now my intention is to keep these videos fairly short, sort of five minutes and under. And then have a good think afterwards um, about the beer. Now I'm going to use the same IPA glass for all the, uh, all the videos. Now this has been bottle conditioned, but we'll try and get a bit more aggressive on the pour. I think we'll leave it just there. So that's poured up fantastic, look at the colour on that, beautiful um, burnt orange with a really nice um, creamy fluffy head, nice tightly packed bubbles there. So on the back um, Stas has written some info here, um, so it's American IPA brewed with an American boil, so American hops and New Zealand uh, mash, so New Zealand malts. Uh, Gladfield Ale, Rye, Toffee, Crystal and Rewaka Hops. Um, main hop flavour and uh, flavour aroma hops are Chinook, Columbus, Falconer's Flight, Mount Hood, I'm not familiar with Mount Hood, and a, a, lo a load is it? Something pick, pick up full, oh pick up full of Simcoe at Flame out. Dry hop with Mount Hood and Simcoe. Yeast is WLP001, California Nail. So, yeah, here we go. That looks absolutely fantastic. I may just twist this camera around so we're out of the sun a bit. Um, so, we're just a couple of points out of 50 um, is for the label um, design. Um, and would we grab it off the shelf? I think um, as far as homebrew labels go, that is pretty impressive, especially with all that information on the back. So fantastic job, Stas. So appearance-wise, stunning beer, stunning burnt orange. Like I said, a beautiful head on the top. It's not going anywhere. Um, looks like it's got a good level of carbonation. There's a nice hiss off the bottle. So we'll go in for a bit of a smell. Oh yeah, straight. As I read out before, it's got a truck truckload of hops in it, and you get a real nice depth, um, particularly a citra or citrus aroma coming off the top. Really nice and fresh. Yeah, that smell that smells absolutely fantastic. Yeah, more more of your sort of lemons and or, uh, lemons and grapefruits and maybe oranges on the nose. A little bit of sweetness from the malt coming through as well. So I'm going to dive in and have a taste. Cheers guys and thank you very much Stas. Good way to kick off the competition. Oh yep, that's um, beautiful um, full, um, I said it before, mouth enveloping juicy hop um, flavour coming through. Yeah, predominant flavours are that sort of 
uh, our citrus, yeah, orange, getting more, more sort of orange, maybe sort of tangerine on the flavour, but still got that sort of grapefruit in there as well. Um, it's definitely got some serious sort of pine as well going going on. Um, I can't remember what it's bitter to, but it, it definitely tastes like there's some very firm bitterness there. And um, I'm guessing it's quite high, especially with all those hops that have gone into it. Uh, malts, um, yeah, definitely some sweetness coming through from that toffee and crystal, which is really nice. Um, and maybe a little bit of biscuit as well, nice sort of, almost like a dry biscuit. The carbonation is spot on. Um, mouth feels really good. It's got a real nice sort of um, mouth enveloping um, texture to it. And it, this has got rye in it, I think it said on the bottle. So there's a little bit of a, a nice sort of slickness on the tongue, which goes well with those hops and the hop oils. So. Body is... Um, it's definitely a, definitely a medium body there. Um, yeah, yeah, really, really full bodied. <laughs> I said I was going to enjoy the rest of the beer off camera. So what I might do is I might stop there, do some marking, and um, just come back very quickly for some uh, overall impressions of the beer at the end. Okay, cheers guys. Okay, we're back with a couple of final thoughts on Stas's beer. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I've got to mention the clarity. It's um, while not crystal clear, it is very, very uh, close to that. Maybe a teeny weeny, weeny bit of hop haze, but uh, the clarity is pretty good, especially considering it's bottle conditioned. Um, forgot to sort of say it's now I've had most of the beer. It's very resinous. It's got a very resinous quality to the hops, um, and um, yeah, overall fantastic beer beautiful hop um, presence on the nose and flavour. I guess my only um, thing I would change, and this is just my personal um, preference, is it's probably a little bit too bitter um, for myself. I said that the bitterness tapered away nicely, but um, yeah, just just having had more most of the glass now, it's just the bitterness does sort of build up in layers, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, probably a little bit too much for my own liking, so I'd possibly drop that back down. But yeah, apart from that, fantastic job Stas, and thank you again. Great way to kick off the competition, and um, yeah, stay tuned for some other, well there will be other one, other uh, Lord of the Dank tastings. Cheers guys, over and out, thanks for watching.